Mueller going after John McCain links to Russian oligarch made public. Arizona Senator John McCain got some bad news this week when he was linked to controversial Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska, a billionaire aluminum magnet. Infowars reported that Deripaska is a staunch supporter of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who established his political credentials by marrying the granddaughter of Russia's late president, Boris Yeltsin. In 2001, about a year after Russian President Putin signed a decree granting legal immunity to Yeltsin's family. McCain met with Deripaska in August of 2006 when he was preparing to run for president. At the time, McCain supported Montenegro independence, endorsing what the nation described as a simplistic notion of independence from a country America had been at war with in the late 1990s was all that mattered. When reporting on this meeting between McCain and Deripaska, investigative reporter Sarah Carter noted that McCain's story is a poignant reminder the Putin's allies have long sought U.S. political influence and that U.S. counterintelligence often focuses on keeping Americans from being compromised by foreigners. She added that in 2006, U.S. intelligence officials were concerned about McCain's contacts with the meetings Rick Davis arranged with Deripaska, noting that in 2006, the administration of President George W. Bush opposed Yanukovych, fearing he was anti-democratic and aligned with Putin after Yanukovych's party ousted the pro-democratic and Western-friendly Prime Minister Yushchenko. She also said that McCain backed Yushchenko even though his campaign manager's firm, Davis Manafort, supported the pro-Russian opposition leader Yanukovych. This revelation comes after McCain bashed Trump during a speech at the U.S. Naval Academy. CNN reported that though McCain did not mention Trump by name, he clearly took a veiled swipe at the president's policies. The senator told midshipmen that democracies need to recognize the risks these groups pose, saying it's time to wake up. We are asleep to the necessity of our leadership and to the opportunities and real dangers of this world, he said. We are asleep in our echo chambers where our views are always affirmed and information that contradicts them is always fake. We are asleep in our polarized politics, which exaggerates our differences, looks for scapegoats instead of answers. He added that World War II-era American statesmen knew that tyranny is always a threat to peace and there could be no more isolationism, no more tired resignation, no more America first, which is, of course, a phrase often touted by Trump. <laughs> what do you think? I'm glad that they caught him on this. Because look at what he's, he's uh, uh, spewing, anti-American, anti-American rhetoric. And I'm glad, and I'm glad, and I hope he goes down. Before he croaks, I hope he winds up in jail because this is what he deserves. He's, he's a traitor. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.